Even before Elon Musk and SpaceX, Mars has been a heated topic in space discussions. The red planet fascinates and intrigues us. Whether from planetary rovers or orbiting satellites, observations of the planet keep showing strange anomalies that cannot be explained. The talks about a future colony on Mars and even life existing on the planet are not unfounded. For centuries, astronomers have battled to come up with reasonable explanations for anomalies they found on Mars. In 1877, channel-like structures were observed on Mars by Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli. Although his observations were dismissed in later years as telescope lens errors, it is one of the earliest known examples of Martian anomaly observation. But not all anomalies can be easily debunked as lens errors. While Venus is closer to Earth in size, Mars is more likely to favor life and scientists believe it has done so before. Hence, anomalies are given a sense of credibility as creations of an elusive alien civilization that we are desperately searching for. In this video, we would be looking at strange anomalies discovered by NASA, both past and recent. Are these anomalies real or fake? Are they natural formations or created by aliens? Underlying it all is the elephant in the room. Are we alone in the universe? The Face of Mars On July 25, 1776, the Viking 1 mission captured an irregular image while circling the red planet in search of the landing site of sister ship Viking 2. The photo greatly resembled a human face, and when NASA released it to the public days later, it sparked a huge controversy that has lasted till today. In its official statement, NASA called the image a huge rock formation in the center of the photo, which resembled a human head. Despite the space agency's insistence that the anomaly was a product of light angles and shadows, the imaginative public concluded that it was a remnant of an ancient Martian civilization. In 1998, NASA took more detailed photos of the landmark with the Mars Global Surveyor and found evidence to support their earlier analysis. In 2001, high-resolution images from the European Space Agency's Mars Express showed a natural formation devoid of features supporting NASA's analysis. But why do people still insist otherwise? It is due to a phenomenon called pareidolia, which makes humans more inclined to see faces and living qualities in inanimate objects. The face of Mars was nothing but an illusion of our mind. Bigfoot Yes, Mars has a lot of abnormalities, but Bigfoot? Apparently, photos taken by the Spirit rover in 2008 gave credence to the suggestion that the cryptid might exist on Mars. In 2008, the Spirit rover took a panoramic photograph of the Martian craggy landscape and nothing seemed out of ordinary. However, a closer inspection of the image shows a humanoid figure sitting on a rock, and conspiracy theorists were quick to pick up on the story. Public opinion was divided between a female statue created by aliens and the first extraterrestrial sighting of Bigfoot. Official scientific response, however, called it an optical illusion, another case of pareidolia. Nevertheless, the case of a female humanoid on Mars still stands as a photo from the Curiosity rover in 2015 shows a woman standing on a rock. Could this be another illusion? Martian Lights one of the most popular UFO sightings is the Phoenix Lights spotted in Phoenix, Arizona in 1997. Although the Martian equivalent is on a much smaller scale, conspiracy theorists have speculated the occurrence might have been caused by alien UFOs. In 2014, an image taken by NASA's Curiosity rover shows a bright flash of light on the distant horizon. It is puzzling as a series of pictures were taken of the same spot and the blip appears only on one photo disappearing in the next like it was never there. What could have caused this flash of light? UFO blogger Scott Waring believes it is an artificial life source and posits that it could be an indicator of intelligent civilization beneath the ground. NASA takes an opposing stance, arguing that, although the blip cannot be explained, cosmic rays or lighting hitting a rock could be responsible for the occurrence. According to NASA, it was a common phenomenon as it has happened in multiple photos taken by the Curiosity rover. Shrubs and Trees The Mars Global Surveyor has not been left out of the anomaly photo trend. In 2001, the Mars orbiting satellite sent back a photo of Martian dunes that had features that would spark excitement. The photo was taken in the southern hemisphere of the planet and showed patches akin to shrubs in an Earth desert. Hungarian researchers analyzed the photos and concluded that the dots are living organisms. The gray fuzzy spots, as the researchers called them, were also increasing and diminishing with the turn of seasons. In the first half of spring, 
the spots became darker, more bounded, and larger. When the area defrosts in early summer, the soil of the dune becomes visible and surrounded by a ring. The dune spots reappear yearly with the same pattern, strengthening the scientists' conviction that the patches of black are biological. They assert that it must be the life cycle of a plant. In its response, NASA debunked the hypothesis and believed the spots are the result of springtime defrosting process on Mars, not a sign of biology. Its dismissive conclusion seemed to have come too soon as another controversial photo soon surfaced showing forms that could be likened to spreading tree growth. The new photo got the attention of sci-fi author Arthur C. Clarke, who noted that the forms resemble bayon trees. Once again, NASA debunked the vegetation theory and explained that the culprit was the bizarre geology of Mars, which might have caused a freezing, refreezing phenomenon. Glass Tubes Once again, Arthur C. Clarke was one of those who gave their honest opinions when photos of Mars revealed long, translucent tubes that sprawled across the surface. During the seminar of fellow space aficionado Richard Hoagland, Clark said, I am still waiting for an explanation of that extraordinary glass worm on Mars. How big is it? It's one of the most incredible images that ever come from space, and there have been no official comments on it whatsoever. The picture was discovered in 2000 in the photo archive of the Malin Space Center Systems. It ignited discussions about life on Mars as people speculated on what its purpose could be. Were there huge water ducts that served as water channels? Were they merely geological anomalies? Mars Thigh Bone on August 14, 2014, the Curiosity rover captured the most recent interest from Mars. The object, in particular, appears to be a bone or something similar. Some observers have likened it to a thigh bone. Because no life, not even microbial life, has ever been discovered on Mars, planetary scientists believe that there should not be any bones there. In addition, there is no evidence that large life forms exist. Or is this item the evidence? Or is it simply a strangely shaped rock that resembles a bone? Due to its color, proportions, and shape, it immediately conjures up images of limb bones, complete with joint-like nodules on its ends. However, further investigation is required before concluding, and Curiosity's future is unknown. Probably not. If life ever existed on Mars, scientists expect it to be small, simple life forms known as microbes, NASA stated in a press release. Mars probably never had enough oxygen to sustain more complex organisms in its atmosphere or elsewhere. Big fossils are therefore unlikely. According to some amateur observers, the resemblance to a bone is merely pareidolia, the human brain's tendency to find familiar shapes in random formations. Or it could be the bone of an alien Martian animal. Morse code. Coding in Morse? On Mars? How could that be possible? In February 2016, NASA's Mars Surveillance Orbiter caught this perspective on the red planet's surface, which shows a few odd developments. A series of dunes that resemble Morse codes, dots, and dashes make up the dark raised areas. The code is unfortunately written in gibberish. After analyzing the image of the dune, planetary scientist Veronica Bray revealed to Gizmodo that the code has no message in it. So no, no aliens are communicating with us. Monolith on Mars The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took this picture from 165 miles up of a mysterious object on the surface of Mars. It appears to depict an undetermined height, freestanding geometric block. Naturally, what came to mind was the alien-created monolith from 2001, the Odyssey in space. But was the photo fake? In reality, it's more likely that this boulder has been created by breaking away from the bedrock to create a rectangular-shaped feature. A scientist from the University of Arizona is quoted as saying, If that's the case, where exactly is the broken bedrock? Where exactly is the stone that split off to form this shape? On a plane of soil, the object appears to be standing on its own. Of course, we can't say that it was made up, but we can add it to the growing list of strange things that happen on Mars. Martian Totem Pole Okay, it might not be a totem pole from Mars, but what exactly is it? Do you find it to be normal? Is there anything like this on Earth? It cannot also be an altered image because the original image can be found in NASA photo archives. It is just as it seems a puzzling image. It appears to be a pole covered in rounded, carved looking objects. Also, it looks like the whole thing was planted in a very smooth area of the ground. 
a YouTube video produced by www.whatsupinthesky.com, a space enthusiast website, attempts to examine what it refers to as a handcrafted object. In addition, it looks at some of the debris in the area and suggests that it might be a fragment of an object. What do you think then? An unusual stone construction? A crude alien stone craft? Or is it just pareidolia? Regardless, Mars is an odd place. Lava Coils on April 26, 2012, a scientist published a paper on a peculiar discovery on Mars. In the Athabasca Valleys, the same area where Bigfoot was supposedly spotted, a puzzling natural formation was found. These fascinating patterns, which look like corkscrew snail shells, are actually rare lava flows. NASA's high-rise spacecraft discovered the formations, and it was the first time lava coils had been observed on Mars. The Big Island of Hawaii and the submarine Galapagos Rift of the Pacific floor are the typical locations of lava coils on Earth. The coils are formed when two lava flows pass each other, moving at different speeds or directions. When the lava hardens, it produces a variety of swirls on the soil. Martian coils differ from Earth's coils in size, which perhaps could be expected given the harsher Martian climate. Martian coils have a width of 100 feet, while their terrestrial counterparts measure approximately a foot in width. The Athabasca Valleys, where the formations were found, also differs from Hawaii and the Galapagos Rift. It is a tear-shaped landform that is thought to have been created by catastrophic flooding. Doorway to Cthulhu Passionate observers of Mars have sifted through images of the planet's surface and discovered a startling picture. When it was shared with the rest of the world, it piqued the interest of those who believed Martian life is a possibility. The picture was taken by the Curiosity rover on May 7, 2022. It appears to be a hole cut into the rocks, a doorway of source. If it was a doorway, then without a doubt, it was alien-made. It was shared by investigative journalist Annie Jacobson. Jacobson's work has examined, among other things, the enigmatic happenings at Area 51. Concerning the doorway, she tweeted, this NASA Mars image, taken on 5722, and the news of house hearings on UFOs is sure to spawn a few new theories. Others have examined the image and concluded that the geological feature is a doorway to an underground temple. Some have suggested that a shadowy figure is hidden at the entrance. Could it be Kahulu? However, NASA is having none of it. The agency shared a panoramic image of the hill where the doorway was found. It debunked the alien theorists by pointing out that the doorway only appeared to be so when it was zoomed in on. Finger Rocks on May 15, 2022, the 3,474th Martian day, or SOL, of the mission, the mast camera, or mast cam, of NASA's Curiosity Mars rover spotted these rocks that looked like fingers. Mineral cement was probably deposited over time as groundwater trickled through the rock in the past to form these weird formations. Eventually, the formations were exposed to air and the wind eroded the softer material, leaving behind the hard cemented portions of the rock. The rocks were discovered on the five kilometers tall Mount Sharp. Curiosity has been climbing sharp since 2014. Mars Shiny Metal Object the Curiosity rover captured yet another bizarre object on the surface of Mars. The picture, which was taken on January 30th, 2013, is truly mysterious. The shiny protrusion is only about 0.05 centimeters tall or less and appears to be embedded in the rock from which it protrudes. Therefore, it is undoubtedly not the rover itself. Its sparkle suggests that it is of metallic creation. What then could it be? One hypothesis is that it is a metal nugget that is formed naturally. Metals must have similarly formed on Mars to how they formed on Earth during its creation and evolution. This more enduring vein of metal was exposed as the rock was being worn away by wind and sandstorms. Or it could be an artificial, probably ancient metal object with no idea where it came from or what it was used for. It got stuck in the strata of Mars soil, turned into rock, and was brought back out by wind and erosion. Which is it then? Although the latter is far more entertaining to contemplate, we must admit that the former is more likely. Mars would continue to fascinate and amaze. With each inch of Martian ground covered by NASA space rovers, we draw closer to unlocking the mysteries of the Red Planet. All the controversies and arguments about Mars serve the purpose of stirring interest and providing clarity. As with all quests for knowledge, knowledge itself is the reward. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, bye for now.